Jojo has fun. It's times like this, these <laughs> tough times. Welcome to Jojo has fun, a comedy let's play. Woo! <laughs> pending. Pending. Pending confirmation. A pending comedy let's play. Yeah. In, there's no. That's the thing about comedy let's plays is I can tell you six ways to Sunday that this is a this is a p- comedy let's play. Oh. But up until, uh, unless I tell a joke at some point, it's simply like chatting. Yeah, it's a, it's. <laughs> this is the just chatting chat. Oh dear, I hope the kids is okay. Oh wow, I let him work in the mines today. I know you're feeling, but mopping moping around here ain't gonna help a thing. Ding dang. All are, the dialogue is in quotations, and it makes most? me think that they're all being fakey. Yeah, they probably are like fake as fuck. Just yeah. like welcome to so, my underground dirt. You got a problem with moles too, Danielle? No, the, uh, no. The, the depiction of the moles is a problem. Okay, I imagine they're very Appalachian. Yeah, you know, they look like they're dressed like Mario. We can't reach it anymore. If only that fellow uh, Mario were here, he could reach that that bad boy. And Ma- be Mario. Well, speak of the devil. <laughs> God, well, I'm looking at, a, it. Well, look at it. Well, I'll be a Goomba's uncle. If it ain't him in the flesh, Mario, you're a life saver. What's the Goomba equivalent in real life? What? What's the equivalent to a Goomba in, in the real world? Because Goombas aren't good. Most uh, of them are shitty. Portobello mushrooms, I would imagine. But I think that's alive, like a creature. Mushrooms Pigeons. are alive. Jojo, shut up. <laughs> Danielle, have I said anything that wasn't true thus far? No. Something okay. that's, that's sentient. Uh... Don't say it's sentient, <laughs> you dumb asshole. <laughs> I mean, they can respond to stuff in the environment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with pigeons. Okay. You think pigeons are, mm-hmm. are gooms? Yeah. Goombers? Goombers? No. What about the pigeon makes you think that it is Goomba related? It is um, one of the uh, lower... On the like human, the totem pole, the hierarchy, the hierarchy, the natural hierarchy upon which we sit, okay, gloriously. Well, and also because, like, I would say Goombas would be sort of like a tuna. You know, it's just out there to get eaten. But a Goomba is aggressive. A Goomba's a tuna. That's has that's got wheels. Yeah, Goomba's a tuna. Goomba's, Goomba's a tuna. tuna. Goomba's a tuna. Yeah, I would say that as far as uh, enemies in video games that have lasted through uh, the years and maintained their integrity, as far as what they're about, and then also like just their their appearance. Goombas are up in the top five. They're very consistent. Yeah, super consistent. I mean, they throw in some mixes in with the Goombas on occasion. They get some Goombas that can talk. They got Goombas that wear hats, and some Goombas that yeah. also have hair. Just but they like, you have pigeons who you can train. You yeah. have pigeons who are in like coops. that like that DreamWorks film. Train how to how, train your pigeon. <laughs> That would be a good movie. <laughs> well, no, because he would live in like a like like a it's like an apartment in, in the city, and his his mom would be starting a new job, and all he would have for friends is his new pigeon friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I get it. It'll be called. Watch it. Is this is this um, Iron Giant, but with pigeon? Uh, mm. I'm gonna go with yes. Okay. <laughs> I can test. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the studios are looking for a hot new property. <laughs> we got something for you producers to salivate over. It's yeah, going to so... start, as most stories start, he's going to be attacked by some kind of bully, get lost, and he's going to be trapped in a junkyard. And wouldn't you know it, his only friend is going to be this pigeon. So... Th- which I is guess. which is also named the Iron Pigeon for some yeah. reason, despite the, the fact pigeon, that it's a like straight that. up it's normal straight, pigeon. Yeah, how to train your Iron Pigeon? <laughs> yeah, how to train your Iron Pigeon is the current one, and Fly Away Home is obviously, obviously. the prequel. <laughs> Didn't Fly Away Home star Anna Paquin? Yeah, and Jeff Bridges. Indeed. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> or it might have been Jeff Daniels. It was Jeff Daniels. That's correct. It was Jeff Daniels, not Jeff Bridges. So many Jeffs. So, uh, <laughs> Apologies to Jeff Bridges and Jeff Daniels. And uh, Jeff Brown. Yeah, myself, for, yeah. for knowing too much about the stars of yes, Fly Away yes, Home. Yes, Jeff, there's too, you have too much power. <laughs> I think maybe you and you're not uh, using it wisely. No. You're not. I had, a, I had a thing I wanted to try with you guys. Mm-hmm. What the hell was the point of that? That I just knocked my... my oh, oh, you're supposed no. to do that. Oh, no, it's that boy that stole your monies before. Yeah, they did. Uh, okay. Yeah. What? I, I thought I killed you. Do they have huge... Bubbles on their backs. That's or? sacks. They're sacks of money, Daniel. Okay, so yeah. it, okay, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. I thought they were maybe tumorous. No, <laughs> they were not. 
They need the money for their for yeah, their cancer treatment. Yeah, why else treatment. would they need the money to pay their hospital bill? Duh. So I have a I have a, a bit I want to try with both of you. Right. Yes. All right, new segment. Yeah, new segment. What's it titled? Well, it's also in this. In th- oh, oh right. it's another it's in, in this. this. Okay. So in this is where I present. Well, this one's a little bit different. So. In previous in this is I present two options between both a real fictional description or title and a fake one, and you have to decide which one's fake and which one's real. Right. This one I've got. This one needs a little bit in more. In this segment. In, yeah. this, in, in this, this segment. segment. So in this segment, um, I am going to give you the title of an obscure board game, and you have to tell me based on title alone what you think the point of the board game is. What is the goal of the so game? So all these board games are real. Yes. And so is that picking between one or the other? So I'm giving you a, a real board game that exists. No context clues aside from the title. Yeah, that's the thing about board games is there is absolutely no context clue. Like, yeah. what? What? It, except Mousetrap. Mousetrap is pretty on point. Mousetrap was Ma- mouse very trap honest. is pretty obvious yeah. what it's trying to achieve. So um, I've only got two. I didn't get a bunch. Okay. okay. So this is, But I want you both to give me your best takes. Okay. Okay. Based on title alone, what do you think is the goal of the board game? What is your what is your goal? Okay. The so first one, Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure board game. <laughs> that was a lot of words. <laughs> I know what it is. Do you You're know what it is? You're a giant pig man running away from people trying to eat you. So, and then if they if you die, then you just turn into various, it, like it's a randomized thing. You'll pick a card and it'll tell you what kind of like bacon, pork belly, pork butt, like what, where, where are you going to go? Are you just, are you, are you vamping right now? Or are you, <laughs> are, 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 is this, or is this like just you reciting from memory? No, Cause I really can't tell. I'm genuinely like, I like this idea. <laughs> I think this would be a great well, game. Well, because so you're saying that like if you if you catch if you catch Mr. Bacon, then you get a, a type of meat. But the problem is, Danielle, is that bacon's already a type of meat. So I have an issue with your, no, your description. No, I meant okay. I meant originally I thought I envisioned like the main players uh-huh. as Mr. Pig. Oh, okay, Mr. Bacon. Mr. Bacon. Yeah. <laughs> but I like you're just a you're just you choose a piece. Like you can either be bacon. Or you can be, you can be, but you can be, but <laughs> you can be uh, a part belly. of the pig. So you're looking yeah. at a grander pig scheme. Yeah. To the, so the, you, you a start pig, a pig themed adventure. Okay. You start pig's big adventure is what I'm hearing <laughs> in the big city. You you awaken from your slaughter, and you are suddenly corporeal in ways that you'd never been before. Right. You were, you you have the the big you have, memories. You have, you have all these new feelings. <laughs> About how about your corporeal <laughs> feelings like crispiness and fattiness on occasion. Delicious fattiness. Why am I here? So what's the who? How do you win this game, Daniel? How do you win Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure board game? You have to go around the board collecting ingredients for your dish. Okay. And which whoever, is yourself? Which is yourself? Yes. Okay. Yes, and okay. whoever uh, is able to sell that. Uh huh. Because this is going to be capitalism. Okay. Because pigs. Jeff, uh, I, uh, before before Danielle continues, is this what you wanted? <laughs> Was this your plan, or is this gone no, wildly this off the is, rails? Danielle is giving me a very detailed description of a game that may or may not exist. Okay. Wow. <laughs> We've had a lot of free time, guys. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. I, I'll. So is that? I'm done. Is, okay. I'm, Jojo, do you have any thoughts on that? Details. Can you describe it once more? Because I actually, I I'm going to be completely honest. I feel like I just blacked out. <laughs> Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure. Danielle uh-huh. thinks that you choose your board game piece. You choose your character, which is a form of bacon, of, of pig-related. So the, o- the so the only thing I'm getting is the name. That's all I get. Yeah, that's all you get. Okay. So what say? What's the name of our game? Mr. Bacon's Mr. Big Adventure. Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure. Yeah. Okay. It's a Candyland-esque game. Okay. Where there's no like winning, losing, that sort of a jam. Uh, you just kind of like you, you roll to see how far you can get. Okay. And um, at the at the very you you you're, you're passing through these various meat themed uh, oh, yeah. forests. So much meat. Uh, this is the meat forest. This is the yeah. brat. This is the bratwurst bramble. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I want to go is, there. This is the 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 uh, 
this is the, the <laughs> I'm sh- trying to think the, of what's the swamp of meats. swamp of shanks. No, no, you're the swamp of shanks. <laughs> this is the the layer of loins. This is that the sounds bacon. like porno. I was thinking pork loins. <laughs> yeah, that was that was very um, porny. Hey, 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 this is Lord one. Porter's house, and it's like a snake. <laughs> And smoke is rising and, from it. It's and all smoke it, And quarters. the very end is he gets home to have a nice a nice dinner with all the friends he made along Aww. the way of the candy okay. board. So what is Mr. Bacon's big adventure? Because I know that both of us were wrong. <laughs> it's the friends we made along the way. So, it's obviously that. Oh, my that. God. The most, you, here, you did that. It's the that most mouth-watering, meat-centric board game ever created, which probably is true. Uh, Mr. Bacon's Big Adventure board game is a fa- is by far the most mouthwatering, meat centric board game ever Ooh, okay, created. Okay, I get it. All right, As you shit. move your bacon character, yes. So you're a bacon character. Uh, well, I guess uh, I got through it. Through Meatland, you right. through Meatland. Through Meatland. Yeah. So you were kind of on point. Oh, yeah. yeah, you you'll got ha- the setting. You'll have to navigate your your way through areas like the Mustard Marsh. The Wiener Wasteland <laughs> and the ew, su- ew, 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 college? This is Joe's, <laughs> this is Joe's game. Holy and, shit. The, and the Sausage Sea. Oh, my God. You remember when Moses parted the Sausage I Sea? I do remember when he did. <laughs> so, wait a minute. I was kind of right. You were kind of right. You were like meat really themed location. Well, on point. My, my problem with these is that all of these seem to be hot dog related and less yeah, about bacon. There's a lot of sausage dog yeah. thing. The At, first one to make it to the frying I pan. Think, I think part of the game that you the really The first can't... one to make it to the where? The frying pan? <laughs> I got that part right. Yeah, you both were weirdly kind of correct in your in your your uh, your your thoughts on this. That's weird. We should go it... work at Milton Bradley. We got this shit. I don't know that Milton Bradley is a place. I thought it was a loose like I thought it was like a hive mind. Of it's people a, it's playing a loose games. It's corporate Mr. Milton Bradley. hive mind. He creates he's in a he's in a septic tank. Not septic tank. <laughs> no, he's in a septic tank. He's in a uh, Underground what's layer, septic tank. Uh, 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 what's the tank that Luke went into to get fixed? A box of tank. Box. Yeah, he's in that forever. So he keeps him alive so he can make more board games. Uh, the worst one to make it to the frying pan at the end of the trail wins. Includes game board, yada, yada, yada. Includes game board, so I don't yeah. have to supply my own Thank pile of stinky God meats for on that. a piece of cardboard. It very much does look like Candyland. Really? Yeah. So you both were right on wow. uh, a number of points, so congratulations. This is a very strange... Bit. <laughs> I get it. So, like, Joe can like envision the the nuts and bolts, the 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 the, the well feeling of the game. Like, the game is a, the game feel. I'm good at the game, game feel. Yeah. You the have good feel game, game feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I can. I'm good at pointing out all the places where it's moldy or bloody or otherwise objectionable. You okay. That's great. That's Daniel. what you need when you make a board game. Those two different parts yeah, well, of the you know, board game. Those are it's balance. You know, it's it is yin balance. and yang. It's so I have one more. You have one more. I have one more. This so wait, wait, wait. So this bit you worked a lot on, you only had two parts <laughs> to it. No, I, I just I, I'm testing it out. We're testing stuff out. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I'll I mean, some that. things aren't always going to be a grand slam, and I don't want to spend half an hour. Yeah, not on everything's going to be a Denny's grand slam. Yeah, no. Are you not... implying that this was not a grand slam? I, I did not that. say that. <laughs> I in no way am I to imply that this bit was not everything we wanted it to be and, and more. more. So this one is way more vague. Okay, good. You're gonna I find that hard to believe. <laughs> the name of this game oh, is Feely Mealy. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh god! Oh boy! This is oh a problem. boy! <laughs> oh oh shit. good golly! Oh boy! Uh, Feely Mealy. Feely F E E L E Y. Okay. Space M E E L E Y. Oh, so it's feely. not even meal like yeah. the. Like no, no, the... yeah, not mealy like a, an, an apple that you don't yeah. want to eat. Yeah. Oh, like damn. Feely Mealy. That's what you got. What oh could it possibly God. be about? You don't have to get as detailed because, I unfortunately, mean, you don't have as many details as the previous one based on name. Yeah, Sorry. not as many, but I, still just enough. What? <laughs> <laughs> what if if a game existed that it was named Me- Feely Mealy and you had to guess exactly what the what the the mechanic or the purpose of the game is? What do you think it would be? Okay, Joe, so, you go d- first. D- okay. Well, I just want to say like that. I do have quite a range. I have a, a spectrum of um possibilities in mind and okay. none of them are good okay yeah, i, <laughs> I could have guessed that the broad stroke of my mind's thoughts regarding what this game could be about are all in the negative they're gonna yeah. make you feel bad 
Well, <laughs> oh, dude, I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel just got Back it. out of nowhere. <laughs> All right, so who's first? You right, want to try um, it? So, <laughs> so, okay. Here's <laughs> Feely Mealy. Feely Mealy. Okay, so first things first. It's it's a the mealy is a mealworm. Okay. Mm. You're a worm. Okay. Excellent. I like it. There's a couple board games that have a worm yeah. theme. Yeah. You, 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 so it's a series of worms. Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> are we talking like um, you are you human are, centipede kind of worm? In, 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 uh, no, like no, 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 like a mealworm. Oh, okay. like a They're, small. It will look. Oh no, no, no! I it'll look mean, cartoony for yes, sure. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah it's going to be adorable. Yeah. Um, you are traveling with the use of dice. Okay. Roll dice. Excellent. Many of these games do. Yes. Uh, through a shoots and ladders esque <laughs> depiction. <laughs> mm-hmm. Of, I'm gonna go with an apple. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it makes it makes sense. And um, and the reason it's called Feely Mealy is because the apple is at a at a very specific stage of of uh, uh, decomposition. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so I like it. Ergo. Yes. Uh, it's it's uh. <laughs> <laughs> You you, d- depending on how it feels to <laughs> crawl through it, you get different <laughs> bonuses and drawbacks. Okay. You get new skins and, at the end, and the first person to get to the core wins. That makes that's a good that's a good concept. That's a good for game. You. Yeah, just in general. I like yeah. that traveling through the apple. Travel through the apple. Travel through the apple. There's a, a game. feely mealy <laughs> adventure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a JoJo a JoJo has fun original uh, original uh, banger. Daniel, what was your what is one of your many <laughs> horrifying thoughts as to what the game now, Feely Mealy could be? Danielle, the game is called Feely Mealy. Yes. Now show us your darkness. <laughs> so I'm automatically ruling out it's all a, of the bad, inappropriate ones. It's an actual thank you. It's for an actual God's board sake, game. Thank you. Just so you know, it is a legit actual board game. I have no doubt. Um, but just so you know, I'm not about to take you where you where I'm not going to go there. Uh, also, so you said that the name is Feely Mealy, spelled yeah. M-E-E-L. Yes. So I ruled out mealworms. Okay. So you um, went the smart way opposed to JoJo. Yes, and okay. I ruled out. Man, fuck you. My way, <laughs> my way was great. That was a really smart idea. I hate you both. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So Danielle's actually going <laughs> like fuck all of you. the logical way with this one. So Danielle, please continue without more interruptions from oh, JoJo. This is <laughs> bullshit. All of you are fired. Don't worry. The logic, <laughs> the logic has the logic. The time for logic is gone now. There's gonna be no more of that. I've never this. used this spell before. Um, feel uh, me. So you are a um person. Okay. Uh, and you have no face. <laughs> okay. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like a slender man esque looking yeah, person. Just, uh, yeah. just, no, you know what I'm imagining is you have a you have the frame of a head, but there's a big like r- like recession. Oh no, it's like just a big, like a, like like a big a negative butthole? area. Ugh, that's like oh that's not good. There's a kid. There's a character like that in Preacher. It's oh got, yeah, it's like uh, asshole face or something. Yeah, because. Like <laughs> That's his real name, huh? Is, is it actually an actual character, character name in Preacher who's like butthole face or ass face or something like something that? Like I think that, it's ass yeah. face. Yeah. yeah. Ass face. That's yeah. dance. <laughs> he shot himself in the face with a shotgun. But didn't die? But didn't die. Was so. it magic? And he gained all the powers no. of being shot in the face by a shotgun. <laughs> Which is nothing. <laughs> well, I could have told you that. <laughs> oh, green coin. Get it. There you go. That's great. Okay. All right, Daniel, continue. So, uh, character, your character. Are you the character that has no face? Yes. Okay, so you're the character that now. Believe this is still a board game. So, <laughs> I know. I yeah. Know. So, we, now, so, How so are you, you the say character? you the ca- are the character. You mean the players? Yeah. So you take are on the role each of blank face. Okay, there are four blank faces. Yes. Con- c- considering that most board games are a four person yes. board game. Okay. In this game that we have titled Feeling Me. <laughs> Continue. That is titled, not that we have titled. Right. We didn't pick this. So far in Feely Mealy, we are four characters, potentially, all with uh, blank faces. Yes. Okay, continue. Um, 
I was gonna make you naked, but I'm okay. gonna. I'm well, gonna, I appreciate you not. Yeah, I'm not gonna go there. So you're welcome. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, so you just have and you you roll, you travel with the dice. Okay. And what you're doing is you can. Yeah. Land. What are we doing? Yeah. What's the? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> You can land on different uh, feelings like sad or angry or shut the fuck up. <laughs> that then, is my go-to emotional state. That is my <laughs> default emotional state. And then one of the people, it like goes counterclockwise or some shit. The person next to you has to express that feeling somehow. Okay. Like not... Physically, in words. Okay. So you have so, to give us me. So I, I, I'm with you on the board game, Danielle, and I pull I'm, a card. I got lost along yeah. the way. I what? think I got distracted by a light that was on oh. the on the overpass. So, oh my so you, God. so so you're a faceless nightmare creature. Yeah. And your job is to <laughs> express emotions in words. If you let me build you some of the narrative context. Pay me a word picture, yeah. please. So you have just risen out of the ground like a potato. Your brothers and sisters were potatoes, in fact. But you are a blank-faced person who suddenly becomes very tall, like Slender Man. And then you have to go out into the world and you have to learn about human emotions. Okay. And your friends are going <laughs> to teach you. <laughs> there was such a sense of trepidation. <laughs> just a, okay. You remember the movie Inside Out? It's yeah, going to so, be like that. Okay, so you learn. <laughs> so, so, so how do you win? How do you win the game? Who wins? <laughs> you win if you don't cry. <laughs> if you never cry through the whole thing, you win. Okay, so the goal. This kind of stopped being a game. <laughs> right. Okay, so this well, is so just this is what I do in general. Gotcha. <laughs> Think how fun it would be if this game, your, this is, ob your option... The one thing this doesn't sound as fun. Yeah, this sounds like <laughs> not a game for ages four and up right now. You have to... Your goal is to... You land on sad, and you're trying to make the other people around you cry. Think how fun that is. All right, all right. Think of all the things. Think of the conversation. I mean, Danielle, you'd be great at this game because I'm pretty sure <laughs> just describing this would make someone cry were it not us right now. It, it, it kind of sounded like like a really wild version of Pictionary. Yeah, it's like a, it's more. This seems more like a party game, like an emotional Pictionary. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to a board game. So it's charades but traumatic. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> just on the front of the box. It's like it's charades, <laughs> but like dramatic. That's pretty wild. Do you want to know what Feely Mealy's really like? I actually would. Okay, because you both had wildly different takes on it. <laughs> Whose fault was that? So I just want you to know that this is an actual, for real, legit board game from, oh, I dear. believe, Parker Brothers. Oh, it's a for real. No, no, Mealy? Milton Bradley. Oh, uh, it's a for real He's game on really, Milton Bradley. Really feeling. So what you got, and I'm gonna, uh, you'll get it once I get into it. Is there's a box with four holes oh on dear. each of its sides. Okay. And inside of the box are a bunch of items, and on top of the box are, are a, a bunch station? of cards. Yes. This is <laughs> so a there's glory a box hole. with a bunch of <laughs> items and a bunch of cards. Yeah. So each person takes turn. Uh, picking up the a card from on top of the box, and mm -hmm. that card has an item on the card, and you all have your hands inside of this box, oh. and the first person to feel for that item and pull it out gets the point of that round. This is some, like, uh, Flash shit, or was it the Flash? No, there's some old 70s. It doesn't matter. Go on. Yeah, so so the game is literally you have a big empty box everyone's sticking their hands into. Oh yeah. And then you're feeling around for the object you just pulled from the Dude, do the you cards. know? Do you know do you have an idea what Okay, is it just random shit because you have lying around your house or does the box come with yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. How do see. we choose what to feel because I've got several ideas. Let me stand I'm <laughs> Absolutely sure you do. <laughs> Well, Amazon didn't want to show me that thing. So yeah, thank God it didn't. There's well, this is an expensive game, and also wow. the uh, the box art is horrifying. Oh no! Really? Oh no! <laughs> 
You can't really see oh, it. Oh, no. That looks like you would see it in the cover of like a horror movie. Yeah, this is like what the kids play in the horror movie that like brings the demon. That's a that was bad. Okay, so I can I can see a photo. Oops, sorry. It comes with the items. And here are some items. And some of them are here actually this would make it more challenging. A lot of them are animals and it's a little like plastic animal oh. toy. Oh no. So you that pull the would card. Be yeah, that would be hard. So you got like rhino. You got like what else is this? Fucking Capybara. I don't know. It's some, some. I mean, I know a capybara by touch. It's kind of fun. <laughs> uh, alligator. I know the sweet, gentle caress of the yeah. cat. A spoon, which would be the easiest. Uh, like, Jeff, do you need to go to the pet zoo? You want to come? It's going to be fun. You can pet the animals. I already know how they all feel. I know how they feel. I've, fe I've, felt, I've it felt it myself. Um, you got a little man. You've got. Could you, wait, could you imagine a petting zoo where you're blindfolded? Oh, this God. Is <laughs> yes. It's just me Please. with my shirt off. They're petting. Welcome to petting zoo, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hardcore zoo. We don't fuck it. God damn it. Gino has died like five times. Yeah, he's the best. He's, is his defense sucky, but his attack is great. I don't know. He's just sucks. These, okay, <laughs> and not to like talk too much about the game we've been playing for but a few hours, but. Real blind petting zoo. I'm behind. We should start that. This is this is a genius. I don't think we should. Yeah. I think we should go far away from that idea. It's a dog. It's another dog. Right? It's, it's, a, is, it's, a, it's a dog? Dog? And if it's you, a dog! If you guess wrong, then you have to stay there until you <laughs> guess you right. Then you turn into one of the Then you become one of the exhibits. <laughs> you become, oh, and it's people the whole time. The, that the is, big reveal. It's people! That is a Goosebumps level... Uh, that is a goosebumps yes. level twist. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That is yes. scary. Yes. That's actually yes. a horrifying yes. idea. Yes. Yes. That's yes. like Pinocchio yes. when they all became donkeys. Yeah. Oh god, I hate that's the worst. That's the whole horrifying I hate that scene. part. So so that was that was uh <laughs> in this. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 so the mealy is just kind of random. It's the mealy is just a random wordplay. Just happened to rhyme with feely. Yeah, it just happened to rhyme with feely. And it's from like the fifties. I mean, you could have been like feely dealy. Yeah. Because he'd like deal different I don't know. Feely squealy. That was a that was oh God, feely. That sounded just <gasps> Feely squealy. Feely squealy. Why is it not feely squealy? Yeah. That's what our that's what the petting zoo full of people will be. <laughs> when you feel it and they squeals, you're like, It's a pig. <laughs> it's a pig. <laughs> So that was that was the end of that bit. Done. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just the time because I just beat the boss That's hey. of, of the of the next dungeon. Can I just say that this game, its pace is really good. It's this game also has really hard boss fights. Really? I've always found the boss fights to be quite challenging. I've died, I think, more in boss fights for this game than most other RPGs. Really? Yeah. Wow. Because I think that the like judgment in that well, response. Because it's just like it's Mario. It's not supposed to be. Oh shit! I'm being murdered. You it's died a whole bunch earlier in the game. In this? Yeah. Who, who was I losing to? You were losing oh, to the, the alligator Croco? man. Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, well, I had to fight him, and I got a, I got a star just now. Uh, <laughs> I, I beat the I beat the mine dungeon, and I got uh, I got a flower thing, and I got a star, and I killed some stuff. <laughs> so that's what's been happening while we've been thinking yep. of board games. Well, look, I mean, guys, I, I don't want to I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything, but when you watch a let's play, unless that's like a walkthrough, or, yeah. or you're trying, <laughs> I'm trying to show you like this is my any percent run of a uh, Mario RPG getting the fucking uh, hat that that looks like a wiener. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> I mean, wiener like, I mean I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm playing a video game and talking over it. Yeah. yeah that's the, like, the game and the talking don't necessarily have anything to do. No, I got, but I got three out of seven. Don't. That's pretty good. So for this, yeah, for this playthrough so far, I'd say 2% of the talking <laughs> has had to do anything with what's been happening on screen. But the like, it's a, I mean, like I, and I want you guys to know, like, this is a really good game. It's really well paced. It's really interesting. Oh, I love this little one. She's cute. And, and and I I really, really like the turn-based, like, it just feels really good. Well, I, of course, I'll read the warning. I, if, Press A or Y to break, B to jump, X to get mushrooms. To tie it more to the game. It could be fun to make like voice the characters like not voice them like read like improv them oh yeah. like how we do our show you mean yes <laughs> <laughs> for everything we do even though it's not related to the game still we just sound like mario hey feely feely a feely mealy 
horrifying things that constantly happen. No, you'd be like, okay, so right now, Mario, Mario. he... Oh, shit, Dom. He Oopsie fucking... Daisy. Oh, shit. He tried the first time in his... Oh, you're talking about narrating. Go-kart. Yeah. Okay. Look at him. He's going to die. I probably oh, not my, good. <laughs> I would oh, lose not my good mind after this. a while. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, that's like that SUV that couldn't... How's it going, Danielle? It's great. It's great. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. I, is this what you wanted? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, last night, because when I was trying to think of the whole bit with the board games, right? Which, by the way, well done. Thanks. I have a, <laughs> <laughs> I have a, I had another bit, but I don't have it prepared, so we can't do it. But you uh, can okay. tell me about your thoughts on it, and maybe we can do it later. I mean, it's, it's a, uh, or we could just try it later. Wait, so you have a bit that you you didn't finish. I have well because preparation. Well, here's what I would need. Mm. I would need a choose your own adventure book in my hand right now. Oh, oh shit, that boy. would be fun. But here's I the like. here's here's the concept, and we actually have some in the house. I we believe do? Yep. If, if Daniel could possibly find one. Absolutely. So the concept is, uh, I read just the sentence of the like. I just start with the first sentence in the book. That is the choice. No, nothing beforehand. Okay. You make the choice based on that. We keep doing it until we die, and then we read the entire what happened. I like end, it. And then try and clean what happened. How the hell that happened? That sounds like it's going to be really tough. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. uh, it's either that or read the whole book. There's going to come a point book. where we have to read an entire Choose Your Own Adventure book on our show. That's a lot to read, and I feel like we wouldn't be able to read that yeah. legally. I was trying to work away because I was like, I love the Choose Your Own Adventures. I love the idea of, like, making a choice. Yeah, I love the idea of playing a game in our... <laughs> in our show where we're playing a game. I mean, there's, there's... I like... I really love... I do love the idea. I just... I don't we gotta know. We got to workshop it a little bit. Yeah, there's there's some juice to it. Um, But I, I, aside from that, I did find... Um, this board game thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> holy fucking... <laughs> I don't if know. you want to see how Danielle and I, like how our psychosis yeah. how we're manifest, different. <laughs> describe to me a board game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. Or maybe we do like, uh, it's like board game, we have to like think of the concept based on a word or something. Yeah. I've really had enough of this mini game. All yeah, right. this is really long as like shit. This is like, where are you going? This is longer than a Donkey Kong Country fucking. You know what would make it up. fun? If you were like, and Mario is in the cart and going on the train because he needs to get to the station because that's where his mom left his I don't know that Mario brother uh, and uh, he I don't know that Mario had like a bad relationship with his parents that they would leave him at a train station that's why you gotta improv dude oh shit <laughs> <laughs> that's right I, got, I didn't yes and that I uh that dynamite <laughs> shut the fuck up I did oh it's over thank Christ no no. Nope. Oh my is. God! Really? Two. That was two minutes and fucking. So three minutes of time in this fucking oh go kart. Oh my God! Oh, it's still more. I did find a question. Yeah. That you might like to answer. So okay. So we've gone from in this yeah, to Tuesdays to with queries. Tuesdays with queries. Yes. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Doesn't matter. Um. Because <laughs> I was just looking at these last night to find out like if there was anything <laughs> to use later. How do I get my dog to attack Grandma? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. I was genuinely preparing for it to be like another weird like fucking question where you're wow, like, there's no I had way to pause. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this wow. That is wild. Is there any more details? There is, but not it's not really Those I don't are think fun. It, I don't think it helps. Read read it. Read Aww. the other details. Oh. Uh Updated four days ago. It's a German Shepherd, but he's a bit scared. How do I make him violent? Also, <laughs> also oh, updated four days ago. I don't like Grandma. Oh. Also updated four days ago. She's boring. Wow! <laughs> you know what would make this place fun? Yeah. A little, a little, a little, a little dog on here. Now, that seems incredibly <laughs> awful. Yeah. <laughs> like, How do I get the dog to... I think, I think the real answer is, why, why are you resorting to a dog to take care of your boring grandma, my Yeah, dude? you know there are contract killers. There are people on the dark web yeah. who, will, who will take out your grandma for, for free. Bitcoin. Oh, my God. Why isn't there a dog contract killer? A dog track killer. Oh, dude. I'll put a hit on that fucking door. That fucking door. <laughs> The that door? fucking dog next door yeah. and its little door, stupid little door. Little you mean flap. that door that it goes in out of? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that, that door. One. Fuck that door. I'm taking a hit out on the door and the dog. How do I get my dog to attack Grandma? <laughs> okay. I just really wonder, like, um, what what was the what was the situation where 
Well, th- it's probably c- somebody trolling to be sad. And oh yeah. I mean, honest. we hope so. Yeah. I've... But the but the thing I'm 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 stuck with is the idea of like, hey, uh, you know, I don't like grandma. I just got this dog. Yeah. Yeah. How do how, I get these two things? How to do work? I make how them destroy I, each how other? How do I mix up this oil and vinegar? How do I make my 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 do salad you, dressing of revenge? Do you think that maybe if humans are left to their own devices long enough, it will always boil down to light cage fights? Like is that, that was the theme of Heart of Darkness, after <laughs> all, by Joseph Conrad. <laughs> On an they island, did, long they enough. weren't they weren't brave enough in the in the eighteen hundreds to show this part, but it does end with an MMA cage fight yes. in Las Vegas. Yeah, it was it was too bloody for them to show at the yeah, time. Yeah, you know they didn't they didn't show the part where Kurtz executes a, a perfect figure four leg lock. Oh my god, perfect it was, figure four leg lock. Yeah, but then he like gouges the guy's eye. He out. Does get his eyes gouged? So that is true. very beautiful wrestling, like very balletic. But also very, very <laughs> hurtful. I love that balletic res- <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> How do you like your wrestling? Balletic. Balletic. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was kind of a stumper. Because you don't really want to give somebody good advice, and you also no. don't want to admit that you might have a good way right. to get a doctor. Yeah, I don't want to reveal that I no. know. I don't want anyone to know I have the answer no. for being a million percent honest. Okay, uh, okay, but what I do want to know. Joe fucking Angel over there probably doesn't even have an answer. <laughs> Joe Angel, what a dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, am I a bad person for yes. not knowing how to make a dog yes. evil? That seems so, like the kind of thing I would I would want to not know. Um That was a weird That was sentence. Yeah, follow that logic. Yeah. It's like following that track that he yep. was on because the station and his mom. Yep, the track, the track, the station, engine number nine. <laughs> toot, toot. What are we talking about? <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so we don't have to broach the how do I kill my elderly Just relative. Her. Just attack her. Yeah, like, dude, you, even if you're a kid, you could probably take her. <laughs> yeah. Why do you got to get a dog to do your dirty work? Yeah, you know, I've never, I've never been in a situation where I've looked at my grandma and thought, I don't, don't want to fuck with this. that. Like, yeah, this is. So how am I going to end her reign of terror? Yeah, yeah. how am I going to how am I going to put a stop to this to this nightmare? If only but I no, had. I've I've never been in a situation where I was intimidated by a grandmother. It's in the name. Even even, <laughs> even in situations where it, it's supposed to be that way, like she'll wash your mouth out with the soap. Oh sure. Well, yeah. old creepy old ladies like like eating kids. Those freak me out. I mean that maybe he has a maybe this person has. It's obviously a dude. Why does this? Maybe this person have oh, yeah. potentially some sort of Hansel and Gretel esque yes. grandma situation. He was ready oh, too so many were, times. They're, they're about to be eaten. He's yeah. convinced. He is terrified. Or it's he like that convinced. M Night Shyamalan one, didn't they? Didn't, yeah, I think there's another there's one. A grand, but I haven't seen that one. Yeah, no, I've never watched his stuff anymore. Yeah, and he it's knows a, grandma's a coming for him. <laughs> the one twist: Grandma, and Grandpa, bad. Yeah. Well, grandma, I mean, Grandpa. Bad? We did immediately take the grandma's side. Yeah, and there. I mean, and here's the thing: my grandmas, for the most part, have been pretty great. I can know. I know for for a fact there are some awful grandmas. Very bad. Being a grandma doesn't necessarily make you a good person. No, yeah. often makes you worse. It I just mean, means you talk to your spawn into having more spawn. Yeah, exactly. which was uh, which can I just say, dick move. Yeah, <laughs> good on. Literally you. and figuratively. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> look at that. On our show, <laughs> on our show that we do in the service of the Lord. Yes. Yeah. yes. On this day of all days, Sunday, the Lord's Day. Also, yes. Wednesday for those watching. Oh, my God. That's okay. Yeah, I, I think I think the real answer is if you're going to take out your grandma. <laughs> I yeah. Don't, don't, Why didn't we get monetized? I'm what happened? It. Okay, okay. No, but here's, here's, the, here's the wild thing is like, whoa, I did not what expect the that. What fuck is that? There was just I thought that was just the background. Okay, um, that looked like a just a gash that yeah, came out of the. Here's the wild plant. thing. It, I'm I'm super okay with uh, the idea of just two people just like duking it out. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't think you should involve pets in that. No. But if you want to take your grandma out, yeah, like, unless she's fight like. Fair. Unless she's like jacked as shit, I don't think you, you should. You, have, you shouldn't have much of a problem. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. So, Unless we're trying to condone uh, yes. making her more interesting, right? Which is 
I'm like, okay, so have you seen Daredevil, Joe? The show? I have. Okay, so you know the um, the old Asian woman who's in charge of the... Uh, the hand. The hand. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so she, she is like fucking... She will just look at you and you'll dissolve into little bits. And so he has done something to cross her and she is now mad. And she is actively plotting the ways that she's going to take out a contract to kill his, to kill her grandson. Yeah. Because, you know, she needs a little help. Like, okay. she'll be there, but she yeah. needs help. No, no, she never gets her hands dirty. That's why she has the power she does. That's she's, why she's She's so... a frightening presence, but she's yeah. not a physical presence. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I understand that. You need a proxy. That's obvious. And and so he's like... <laughs> <laughs> but dur, yeah. Duh. He's been sent to live Tell with his... Tell me something I don't know. He's living with his grandmother, and uh -huh. now we're on lockdown, and... Now he's just like she's gonna kill me. She's gonna she's gonna kill me. She's gonna knife me in in the and, shower. And she's a and she's a super villain. Yeah. Of sorts. Presence. Yeah. So I need a dog. <laughs> <laughs> First thought. This is my in in my head. I'm like, this is finally the way that I get mom and dad to get me a dog. <laughs> <laughs> finally. <laughs> Mom and Dad, I promise it'll I, kill Grandma. I promise Come I'll on. take care of it. I'll love it a lot. I'll treat you to kill Grandma. They're yep. like, what? I'm just like, They're, nothing. nothing. I'm going to give it pets. But suddenly hugs. that sounds like a better idea. Hmm. It does. <laughs> what would be if dog was not an option as far as like an animal you could have, a Ooh, domesticated like, pet right. that you could train to potentially attack Grandma? Birds. What pet would you choose? Birds? Birds. But a bird, is a bird going to do that much damage? Oh, I'm, ca I'm not talking. I'm not talking sparrows. Okay. Oh, I thought you. Were, I, th <laughs> I thought you. Were I was worried sparrow. you were talking sparrows. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. No, 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 no sparrow talk here. I'm just talking sparrows, y'all. I'm talking big birds. Fuck this guy. Big birds. Big. This, I might not win this fight, which is pretty birds. sad. But like, I mean, what's, like, what's a big bird you can own in the house as a pet, though? Like, like what's a the macaw. biggest? Okay. Those are, rainbow, are they really rainbow go, birds. Are they gonna go after somebody? I thought they were pretty oh. chill. Yeah. As someone who has been repeatedly attacked by them, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I missed that part of our history. What do you do when I'm at work? <laughs> Well, you're, Jeff, you're working from home now, yeah, so that's an excellent question. I mean, I, I I keep thinking I see macaws in my periphery, but I just chalked it up to being indoors for so long. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, no, no, no. Those, those, that, uh, those haunt me at night. <laughs> the macaws. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, okay. So, so what we've landed on then is this is, a, this is really a... a uh, He's like Superman trapped in a room with Lex Luthor, mm -hmm. mm. and and now he's trying to train his crypto, the super mutt, <laughs> to, to take, take out to Lex. take out Lex. There's yeah. too much. He's Grammy eaten, Lex. He has eaten. Superman himself has eaten some bad kryptonite. Uh, it sounds about right, and oh. that's why he can't do it. He's but crypto, vulnerable. crypto, he didn't get any kryptonite because that's too expensive. That's like kryptonite dog food. It's too pricey. It it is very, yeah, very it's expensive. So yeah, what? All. Uh, but I do want to just put a attack in the idea of there being like a kryptonite market. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. underground kryptonite market. Yeah. They're probably in that world. Th that there would, probably is that would in be, real like, life. Where that do would you be an interesting it? fucking story yeah. to tell. Where does he go? Who is his dealer? I mean, you're not just going out with a with a, a metal detector finding your own kryptonite no, in the backyard. No, no, no. Is it like a like a sit in the car with each other and pretend to talk for a while you get thing. a teeth you get a teeth of kryptonite <laughs> yeah. but you gotta hang out with your kryptonite dealer for half an hour <laughs> while they tell you how much they love the mandalorian yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> exactly and then you'd like go around to all the different ones because you want to sample the goods right and you wanna see which one is you best want peace. yeah so you know because the first one's always free so first one's always free you, you, yeah. you gotta shop around <laughs> and yep okay <laughs> keep going that was, that was great that was, that was wonderful yeah i like that oh shit who dat? Whoa. Booster is such a nice place. I miss my fortress. I miss the good old days. Told school screaming in terror. <laughs> Mario saving her. Uh, oh, he's sad. Oh, he's so sad. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> also, oh Jesus, Mario. I, I see Wario. Is that Wario in okay, there? Okay, okay. Uh oh. Let's see you like this. No, it's not Wario. Oh, it looks oh. like yeah, Wario. Bet. No, not like that. Tell me, Rock Toad needs more confidence. You, what are you doing here? If Toadstool were at my castle waiting to be rescued, she'd be crying like a baby. Wow. That's oh, a that's, bit much. That's chill. <laughs> that's yeah. a about bit man. much there, buddy. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Look I, at her crying. Finally, we can get Bowser in the team and kick Malo out. I know. I fucking hate Malo. Well, I Malo can heal, though. Yeah, that's good. I actually think I would replace Gino, if I'm being honest. Oh, no. 
He well, keeps dying. Yeah. But, I mean, check their defense against each other. That's what you need to do. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> think secret. That, I don't know. A million percent appreciate that tone. Check their defense. Check the D stats. Check the D stats. All of the D. Uh, I don't actually... I've seen Wario memes, but I don't know... He's basically like an evil Mario. I, I would say I, evil yeah. is even he like... He gets his power from garlic. <gasps> the evilest oh, of all foods. It's Delicious, interesting. but bad. He has the same color scheme as Nega Duck from Darkwing Duck. He does indeed. When and, you're in trouble, you call DW. And yeah. that was always such an interesting Darkwing concept to me duck. in in Darkwing Duck that there was like the antithesis to Darkwing, which was just another duck with basically the opposite color scheme. Oh, so like Reverse Flash. Yeah, Reverse Flash or yeah. Bizarro, pretty much. Well, like, also like I think I think Darkwing Duck, if he eats garlic becomes Wario. Like, they're, yeah. the, they're the same person. Do ducks like garlic? So wait a minute. And I'm making so, a jerk-off so motion. So, <laughs> so you're telling me that if I, uh, neutral good JoJo okay. Lewis, okay. Okay. walked into the kitchen area and just went to, went to, went to Mouth Town. Oh, don't. On a, <laughs> on a clove of garlic. You know. You're telling me that I would reverse my color scheme? <laughs> Which is pretty weird because I'm wearing a lot of black and yeah. green, so it would be like a pastel blue. Yeah, yeah. no, it, uh, yeah. Then, uh, then that would be reverse JoJo, and he yes. would get up to who knows. And what. he would be neutral bad, so you don't know what's he gonna do. He He's would just be neutral bad, mischievous, just making yeah. the troubles. I'm curious, so I like that in in the DC universe, re <laughs> Reverse Flash is an actual name of an actual villain. Yeah, because it's just like it's we can't do like. Just bad flash. How do we say he's bad without reverse flash? Slow flash. Slow flash. I know they could have been like slow mo or something. Here I go running at my normal speed. No, I think was. I think that was from. Uh, I think that was from Robot Chicken. My my metabolism is just really going down. I'm getting. Oh my time is getting bigger. Uh, oh shit. Oh boy. I was like, uh, hey, fuck you, Wonder Woman. I'm reverse Wonder Woman. <laughs> I yeah. can. Get shit done. There's my when visible I'm not. jet. <laughs> I was gonna say, what would be I'm trying to think of a superhero and they had a reverse version. Of, so Squirrel uh, Girl in the Spider Verse. Spider Verse into the Spider Verse when so, he's um, Spider Man, and one of them gets divorced and is like, I wouldn't say that's reverse. That's just like sadder. Okay, that's just alternate. That's yeah, just that's alternate. A sad Spider Man. Yeah, sad Spider Man. So like, but so the like, same general, like the, the well, thought. I think with the AU of the Spider Verse, it's like, what? It's more of like a what if as opposed to a this is a, a polar opposite. Yeah. So like Peter Park, Peter Parker in the Spider Verse, the one where he was sad and shit, is basically like that's Patrick more, Parkman. Patrick Parkman. That Peter Parker was actually more realistic than yeah. all depictions of yes. Peter Parker because it's like if you look at this, not just break off into Spider Man talk, but <laughs> as we often do on we, this show, like Spider Man in the you comics, know how much I love to talk. Oh, about I love a little the spider. Spidey talk. Oh man, I suppose my spider senses. Guys, it's, it's Spider time. Make them tingle, please. Man, my spider sense hasn't tingled even it's, close it's to been a, today. It's been months. I'm gonna since need I've that tingled. tingle. Yeah. Well, you know, as you get older, give me a jingle when you're ready to get that tingle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the spider tingle. <laughs> so about also, Reverse Flash. Obviously, you just spell his name backwards. Duh. <laughs> just, Ezra, just like the second Blair Witch movie. Yeah. It's Ezra. <laughs> yeah. Just like Red trick. Rum. That's the how you do it. The mystery of Ezra. Yeah, it was. That was the mystery. It's just reverse backwards. <laughs> the answer was there You have to go up along. to the top level and jump down. Oh, okay. It's not okay, here. Well, so, so reverse flash isn't even... But H the reverse flash is still fast. So? Yeah, but he's, he's, he's reverse in yeah. terms of like his behavior. He's running the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, oh, they never fight because he's always going the opposite direction. I'm going to get you, or am I? <laughs> he goes, he's like, I, 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 we had a flash. Oh, me and the flash had a, had a lunch date, but he ended up going to McDonald's and I went to Burger King. Ugh. Oh, God. God. Okay, him. so let me, let, me get, let, me, let, me, let me break off a little piece of this. Mm, now, what about if, if the flash, get this, had to fight somebody who not only did not run fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. He ran so slow <gasps> that it could be argued that he's completely still. Well, would that consider that would that be considered running or just moving so slow? Or just because existing. Running in itself is an act that's supposed to be faster than the act of walking. Right. I've heard that. <laughs> I mean, this I've is I've heard that and I think that's part of I think that I think we're I think what I'm trying to say is we're getting into the meat and potatoes of when the Flash is meeting with 
his cohorts to figure yeah. out how am I going to defeat this new supervillain right. yeah. who stays perfectly still in one place. And so, whereas I, the Flash, yes, I'm I'm all about that movement. Thing. Yeah, like I'm if I'm not moving, getting where I got it. If I don't move, I die. Yeah, that would be great if that was the Flash's actual it thing. It really that, would be because he would be like a, a shark. Yeah, yes. he, you can't. He'll drown in the regular air. If yes. <laughs> if he I doesn't constantly move. Also, he can't run backwards. He cannot run backwards. <laughs> Except when he time travels, but that's a, he's still basically a, running forward to get to the past. Yeah, yeah. It's that, a whole thing. It, you the know. Flash's powers are. And I gotta say, uh, I love the Flash. He's probably like probably my favorite superhero. Yeah. Um, because as a kid, I liked to run. And it was just like, I can do that. Um, Aw, yeah, little Jeff. I'm going to be I want to be the Flash. Oh, now you're old Mario. Do, 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 oh. do, do, do. Um, but, like, his powers are so intense. Like, it's one of those things when comic books, like, it, they go too long because then people who... Because not a comic is not written by one person forever. Right. There's so many oh, writers yeah. that take over it. Yeah. And they all have their own spin and ideas. And some of them are super cool. And some of them are just, like, buck wild. <laughs> <laughs> like, the Flash... I mean, the Flash literally can move so fast and vibrate his body at a specific frequency to pass through matter. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Like... So literally, he could just like phase himself through any matter, which I'm assuming probably means people. Yeah, he's done that. Which is weird because like how he's do you, killed that way. How do you Whoa. find how do you find a person's own frequency? What's my frequency? What if he fucks up? Then I, I, yeah, yeah, he would kill me. You go to your local frequency reader. Okay. Um, it's only you know, twenty dollars an hour. That was the radio shack. They have it down at the Aldi. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'll read your, your frequency for you. What's my... Da- 69. What's the frequency, <laughs> Kenneth? <laughs> 420. 420. Man, Gino's really... I not- fucking hate him. <laughs> He's, his- <laughs> what is his problem? Is hey, Gino. Just- I'm dead. Everyone loves you, but why is this happening? And it- he just kind of falls face forward, just... Yeah, I'll go, let's see. Let's see what other flat, what other powers the Flash has. He can move through time. Yeah, he can travel. So now, but can he do it on his own, or does he need the cosmic treadmill? Uh, oh my God, well, yeah, that actually a real thing. Yeah. Holy Back in the shit. day, he had to use a specific treadmill that allowed him to travel through time. What? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so instead of, and I imagine, I don't remember, I imagine that when he did that, if he went back to Dinosaur Times, it wouldn't just be like he's there. It'd be like, oh, now there's a treadmill here. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, he needed that cosmic treadmill to get all the powers that he needed. Oh, uh, dear. It was, uh, it was pretty, pretty uh, wild. That's, uh... I'm going to replace Gino because I absolutely hate him. I do like watching him fall face forward, he though. He is by far the worst. He's character. a toy, and he dies. Aww. So, abilities, immense superhuman speed. Vast, Im- immense, immense, vast, Prodigious. superhuman stamina, vast superhuman reflexes, superfluous. One might argue intangibility through molecular vibration at high velocity, which is what. Oh so, yeah, here's another thing he has, and I forgot about this. He can speed read. <laughs> oh yeah, but obviously he can't retain the information. That sounds like oh. bullshit. <laughs> you is, stupid bitch. That so, is well, the in worst. that case, so can I. <laughs> yeah, right. Like. Cool. <laughs> it's not really a superpower at that point. I've been doing that a long time. I could just flip through a book and said I read it, but I didn't retain yeah. the information. That would be true. I can yeah. read the back cover and then put slightly different words in and turn it in for my book report. But I wouldn't call that a superpower. No, no. I'm What's not going to go toe-to-toe with Savitar with that one. Yeah, exactly. No. Mm-mm. Because really, like, you can't retain the information. What's the point of doing it? <laughs> Fun. Is it? I'm speeding <laughs> through it. I mean, like. It's like when you go outside to tan, but you're too pale, so you can't tan, but you keep trying. I yeah. mean, like. Uh, yeah. It, yeah, it's not even really a power at that point. It's, it's just, just a <laughs> thing he does. <laughs> it's a problem he They're, has to solve. They really were like, what other words and things do people do that have speed in the name? What else is fast? He can do, he can do speed the drug. That is what he can do. Uh, that would be my first suggestion. I believe that, yes. He can create vortexes, which I'm assuming is just he runs in a circle. Yeah. I don't believe it's its own power. It's just the use it's of like a power. The act of running in a circle causes <laughs> this effect. Mm, which yes. I've mm. done sometimes when I'm, in the, when I'm in the pool and you spin around Aww. and you create a little vortex. Yeah, so yeah. guess what? Two out of 18 powers of the flashes. <laughs> like, if we're yeah, playing Jeff, Never Have like, I Ever. You're one-eighth of the flash right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Flash it, meter's going up. My flash meter is up. Supercharged brain activity. So, yes, he does coke. 
Or no, is yeah. it does Adderall? Or would that be? You said it was speed before. Speed. I would say speed. Speed. Speed's okay. the best one for this. Light ex- electricity and lightning manipulation, which I feel like he shouldn't have. I think it's because the speed force is always depicted as lightning. It's just like, but lightning has nothing to do with speed necessarily. Oh, it's fast. I mean, yeah, <laughs> but so is a cheetah. Yeah, but I would say that in a rate. Uh, okay. He if, can if control we, okay. anything that's fast. Well, no, no, no. I think Jeff's making a good point here. So if we had a, if, we were, a if we were in like the wacky Olympics, <laughs> we'll call it. Okay. Uh, and it was a race, a foot race. A, we'll do a 50 yard dash or 50 okay. meter dash. Sure. Uh, between a cheetah mm-hmm. and lightning. So you look at the front line and there's a cheetah there in its wow. three point stance. And it, there's lightning in its three point stance. Yeah. And we let them start at the same time. Oh man. Can you really definitively say that they're not gonna cross that, that finish line at the same time? No. Yeah. You can't. We, we never they, we they only do see, make we, cameras. Yeah, it would be a photo finish. It would be a photo finish. Cheetah yeah. versus lightning <laughs> yeah. in terms of speed. I mean, and oh man, people be taking bets like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> and they would all lose because they didn't know it was going to be a tie. The idiots. Yeah. Don't gamble. Fools. fools. The fools, because Cheetah and Lightning wanted to prove that they respected each <laughs> exactly. other. Exactly. That classic rabbit and turtle story. Yeah. Remade for the new generation. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, what if the Flash's powers were just that he could control things that were fast? And then how would only you define fast? Only if they fast? were being fast. Only if they were being fast. Only when if they were the act- slow, he couldn't control them at all. In nope. the act of being fast, you were now being controlled by the Flash. <laughs> yes. What I would am you, your god now. What would you consider to be the miles per hour uh, that then goes into this is fast? Uh, how fa- like how fast is the flash? I would say faster than whatever the species given like walking speed would be. Okay, or what about a car, Danielle? Whatever it's neutral tra- 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 So the species of car. <laughs> so the species of car. <laughs> yes. I'd say th- once it passes forty miles an hour, that's pretty fast. Now. Once the car gets past human walking speed, five miles dude, an hour. Yeah. No, that's, no, that's human running speed is five miles an hour. Yeah, well, Flash is in command of a lot of... The Flash is really... He's like, I'm so fast, I can run 10 miles an hour. (laughs) Twice the speed of a regular human. Ooh, hot dog! Fact. (laughs) Accelerated healing factor. Um, That's a good thing to have. That's Everyone has that as a superhero. I'm not not accelerated. I mean, as a superhero. Most people have it, as most superheroes have, like, my healing factor is, like... Like, I heal a little bit quicker. Yeah, I just got to stop and think about it for a minute. But really, we all have healing factors if you think about it. We, we do. All? They're just not accelerating. Yeah. No? They're, they're, they're basic speed. I'm saving mine up, though. I don't uh, want to burn all of I'm that. I'm charging no, my healing factor. <laughs> I'm my... So when I get a big boo-boo, yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, <laughs> it's going to heal Every quickly. big boo-boo is a little boo-boo with my advanced <laughs> healing factor. <laughs> I'm the flash. <laughs> I can speed weed, but I don't know what I just read. Oh also, boy. I got a boo boo, but now it's going to be fixed in a couple days. Don't worry. I'm the flash. I'm the flash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else do we got? Electrokinesis. I don't know what the fuck that is. You can control the movement. Uh, uh, you can control lo- where lightning goes. Okay. Mm. Uh, he's a Sith. Gotcha. Yeah. Time manipulation. He can go backwards and forwards in time. Speed force aura. He has, I guess it's like a, a, a he has an aura around aura. his body that allows him to move at those speeds without suffering the effects of like wind resistance or friction. He has also because if he didn't, he would instantly die. He has resistance to telepathy. I don't know about all that. Is it one of his main villains a telepathic gorilla? <laughs> Grodd is one of his... You know what? It's a baffling sentence that you just said. <laughs> but yes. completely accurate. Gorilla, Gorilla Grodd has been known to hop up in his dome piece from time to time. Yeah. Yes, I'll I've seen it one. happen. Speed mirage creation, sonic shockwave projection, memory absorption. What, I don't know about that what do, bullshit. What do you think memory absorption is? The ability to absorb memories. <laughs> From what? How do you think he does that? I don't know. He has I, to sit there and listen to somebody tell him a thing so he can remember it. Yeah, yeah. yeah like you have to go to the like frequency reader and then you go to the memory reader. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole thing. You got to put it on a floppy disk. It is expensive this. too, guys. Those <laughs> expenses. Then add it goes up. to binary, and then it's one of those ARGs where you got to like take the image that comes out and you got to lighten it to find the fucking hidden yeah, message. Yeah, exactly. And then Scott Cawthorn fucking shows up. It's crazy. Dude, all memories are just like they're like negative. 
Uh-huh. They're like the negative version. Oh. So then you got to like really take your time. Yeah, you got to work on it. Those are not easy to see. Photo. So he has Photoshop skills as well is what you were saying. I don't know if you would call it a skill if you have to look at stuff in negative. Okay. That's a fact. It's not really a skill. Yeah. This part yeah. is so scary to me. It is I, annoying. I don't want to get caught. Oh. I, if I get caught, I just have to fight them. <laughs> Fight you anytime. I'm trying to think of a superhero that has the weirdest powers. Oh God! That, I mean, there are that some is, that are like, 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 but like we've like, done that. That, that bit. is, yeah, I know. But I'm just talking about like, like somebody like because there are lots of heroes that don't exist in like the the standard universes, and you could just be like, oh, Stilt Man, that's a bullshit character. Stilt Man, yeah. Stilt Man, that's Slender Man. He can he's, make his legs go. It. He can make his legs go tall. He's he, making he, the he, freak, he freaked the people out. He's doing good. Yeah, Slender Man is Slender Man considered? Oh shit. Oh, they caught me. Oh, no. I think we should check one more oh, time. Oh, god damn. We gotta do it again. Jesus. This, this game. Do I have to survive this? Um, Maybe it re- I don't know. Maybe it it's kicks you it's out. It's just reset. Yeah. I guess you have to. Yeah, you have to survive it. That sucks. Yeah, some of like the minecart and this. Chacha, don't jump up here, please. There's yeah, because I mean, I, 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 I'm good with fighting bosses and stuff, but this, this whole like. This whole. Hiding behind the curtain. Yeah, I mean, like I get it. They wanted to to, to have Mario do something other than just jump mm. and go wahoo. <laughs> that's this whole game. <laughs> but that's the only thing he does. It's also hard to like place yourself with the isometric view. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, you sent her over here. Why did you do that? I I'd sent her nowhere. Actually, that's my superpower. I can make the cat go where I wanted to. Yeah, and it's usually to me. Yeah, it's weird how that works. Oh, oh shit! How could you ever miss that? There was no way that. I would get there fast mm -mm. enough. One more. Are peek. you kidding me? God damn man! I'm just gonna get caught. I don't want to do this anymore. Is it? Oh, that's how you get the Mario toy. I think if you do it right, you get the Mario toy. I don't oh. want the Mario toy. Like, I just want to be done with this. Yeah, it's not. I, I want to play my game. That I don't I want the got. Mario toy. I don't like it anymore. I, I like just want to play my video game. I'm too fresh. Oh, God, <laughs> You guy, I can run really fast. My name is The Flash. I am The Flash. <laughs> and Cha Cha screams. Yes. So like, yeah, I just. So wait, it, aren't all of us technically reverse Superman? What do you mean? We can't fly. Yeah. yeah. We definitely can't do that. Not invulnerable. Nope. I am very vulnerable to many things. Um, too much absorption of the sun's rays will kill us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Quite I didn't right. Even think of that one. Quite um, right. We are not invulnerable. We don't. We can't breathe like extremely cold air. Nope. Uh, I don't have uh, X-ray and telescopic vision. Damn it. Uh, I don't think so. Go uh, try it. Ooh, bread, bread beep. Well, while Jeff is doing that, let yeah. me just say that yeah. if anyone here is not reverse uh, Superman, it's me. Uh. Because, oh wait, is reverse Superman. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> oh, uh, because I have the ability to be upset when I have to travel by air. Mm, and that yeah. seems to be Superman's, like, one of his whole jams. Yeah. He seems to enjoy being up in the air, like I that mean, George if Clooney I could movie. Fly, I would too. Yeah. If. Super, so Superman has, for a character with such a simple fucking stupid ass name. Yep. He's a Superman. He's a Superman. He has literally a billion powers. Um, if you get to choose to have one of his powers, which one would you choose? And let me, I'll, I will list them off just real quickly. So he can fly. He's extremely fast, if not as fast as the Flash, but the Flash apparently is faster. But he's he's up there. Yeah. He's invulnerable, which means he can't be hurt, except he can be hurt by magic. Well, there's that. So when that pigeon comes out of your hat and comes at him, it hits him, it hurts him. Um, I told you they were the Goombas of the world. <laughs> they are the Goombas of the world. They hit Superman. His one, uh, his his one, one enemy. weakness. The Goomba. Um, he uh, has uh, super cold breath. He has heat vision. He has telescopic and X-ray vision. Which is such bullshit. This I is mean, just seriously? a lot. Yeah. Like, he, he also he can breathe in space. He this does not need a mask when space yeah, travel. He does not need to. So basically, he's he doesn't need anything. Anything. And I don't even think he needs to like eat or anything because that's the one thing I always have an issue with with comic book heroes is that if their powers are based in like a freak accident or something happening like superman's powers are literally based in the fact that his he's, a, he's an alien he's an alien and the the rays of our yellow sun are like like gatorade to him 
So, <laughs> like his, yeah, they are like Gatorade. It's like his, it's his G Fuel is what yeah. it is. And it just, it gives, it, it, not just him, his whole race of people, like, all these powers. Which is why when the dog is there, not even people, fucking animals from the planet get superpowers when super they come dog? to our place. There's Super Dog and Super Cat or Streaky. <gasps> Yeah, that's a terrible name. Streaky, Streaky. the Supercast. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. not great. Um, so, 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 I might not win this one. So, in, in fact, I won't. In addition to being an extremely unbalanced character. Oh who, yeah, he needs to be nerfed hard. Yeah, no yeah, one, I yeah, like you know, nerf. What's his face? Twenty twenty. Um, Superman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I forgot where I was going. Never mind. Nerf what's his name? Nerf, 2020. Nerf what's his name? 2020. <laughs> so yeah, and and also like and over the years his power because he didn't begin as being this strong. His original like literal power was he could leap tall buildings in a single bound. He literally didn't so really he's bouncy man. He really could just like propel himself upwards, but he couldn't just fly around like an asshole. So, yeah. That's super. And it was cool. The one thing they did. Um, like probably 10 years ago now is that they depowered him to a point which made him more interesting. Yeah. Because now he can't just like stop a moving train with his hands. He like can get hurt. Yeah. Uh, he's still fucking hardy as shit but now he's not like an unstoppable god that can literally move a planet with his hands. He is a rough boy. Yeah. We, so, we all know that. So what would it be if you had to choose one of his powers... Which, honestly, just with one of his powers, you'd be pretty super. Yeah, yeah. you could probably protect a city <laughs> yeah. with just one of Superman's one powers. Of his powers. What would, which one would you go for? And why? <laughs> Invulnerable, because anxiety. I doesn't say emotional vulnerability. I yeah, think it's just I think physical. He's, he's still perfect. I think Superman has always been emotionally vulnerable. Yeah, that's his thing as Clark Kent. Yeah, a spoiler alert. Imagine you can take a whole half of your anxiety away. Just. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's how his powers work necessarily. You said if I... Okay, that's how you want it to work? Yes. Okay. So Daniel wants emotional invulnerability. No, 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 no. I want... No, you're not what listening. What a crazy you're not listening. power. You're not listening. You're what not a listening. buck wild power you're to have. You're not listening to me. Invulnerable well, physically. Okay. So that you can reduce... Maybe you guys don't have anxiety about going outside and dying. I, however, do. <laughs> gotcha. I certainly gotcha. Do. So you would have less of a fear about getting hit by a car. Yes. But more or of murdered. A fear of murdering a, a person killer. in the car who is dead now because they rammed into your body and their car turned into Swiss cheese. Or slowly choked to death. Something, you know, I don't. Jesus. So I could eliminate that whole body of anxiety. Gotcha. Okay, so Danielle would choose invulnerability because she would be able to exist in the world without being concerned about her health and well-being. That Native. makes sense. That makes a good, it's a good reason. Being a woman, twenty twenty. That yeah, yeah. The invulnerability is a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. What about you, Joe? Uh, it would be the freezy breath. You would go with the what? freezy breath. Just freezy to be breath. contrary. The one that never he never uses. Yeah, basically. yeah. I'm not picking my superpowers <laughs> at you. <laughs> No, no, you no. fuck. No, no, no. I meant in contrary to, like, everyone. Because no one would pick Frozen Yeah, breath. no one would. And guess what? That's... In, 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 a, in a world of <laughs> invulnerable, super strong, uh, <laughs> x-ray vision-y god people, the one who can blow cold air is king. How about that? You know what? In this age of climate change, <laughs> yeah, I could be the greatest hero. <laughs> you might have an ability that no one else will you have. You would be extremely useful in the summer months when our AC is not working great. Yeah, just come come breathe in here. Yeah, I mean, one, I guess, one, you can change the environment in minor ways, which is good, and two, um, you can still use it very offensively because he does... Um, Freeze the fuck out of people, and then just they get decimated afterwards. True. So um, what? What do you envision? How do you envision? Yeah, give uh, me a scenario where this would be something that you'd use in your everyday yeah. life. <laughs> well, it's it's maybe like it's a like a like it's um like maybe I have to I've made a tasty like a broth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. already. Not what you were expecting, I'm sure. I know you do. I've like made a broth, things, yeah. and I what? want to use that broth. Uh, Right away, I have to cool it down first because it's it's sitting in the danger zone. Aha! Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I really ca I, can I just not block this move that he's doing? I mean, Joe you're, you're does gonna not die. like having his tongue burned. No. Yeah. So I yeah oh yeah so so I'm getting this broth ready to go. Oh damn! Jeez Louise! Yeah, 
I'm you're, not you're, gonna, I, I, I managed to solo those three, but I can't beat him. Yeah, you're gonna have to come back on this one. Yeah, because he's just. If he, if he's he, a, oh, oh, okay. He's a rough boy, but I think I can get him now. Let's see how much damage this does. Probably not a bunch. Yeah, 20. it's okay. Oof. Ooh. Ouch. Oof. This is rough. Yeah, uh, like Ice Breath. I don't think you're meant to solo this. No, <laughs> I can see Ice Breath having more utility as like in an everyday situation. Absolutely. Hey, nice. Yeah, you missed. Yes, it would be like for certain things, quite helpful. For yeah. other things, not helpful. Like, so you're not freezing everything all the time with your breath. No, no, it's no. just it's when a, I want it's to. It's a thing you can call upon. When you're trying to like whisper sweet nothings into someone's yeah, ear, you're, you're not. not you're not. I'm not accidentally freezing them to death. Yeah, and their then brains their aren't frozen. Ear falls off. And, yeah, that's yeah. a whole thing. That's how Superman learned he had the power. He yeah. accidentally, <laughs> he accidentally <laughs> blew into someone was, and killed them. He was he, doing some pillow talk. He with, was. Oh, I was gonna say he was doing some straight up foreplay. I mean, pillow talk is foreplay. It sure is. Little, little little sweet nothings being whispered into ears, Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound of my freeze breath. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Wake you up in the middle of the night. Hey Jeff. Jeff. Hey. Jeff. Jeff. I want to watch this. You want me? You want me? You want I'm gonna me whisper. Free... <laughs> I'm gonna whisper a sweet frozen nothing into your ear. You want me I'd to kill you if you let? You want Dairy me to freeze Queen's, your pillow for you? Dairy Queen sweet frozen nothings coming this summer. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that sounds delicious. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. I could see. And also, you could just make money off that power. That's true. I mean, that's also the thing is you gotta still live. Yep. Indeed, you do. Yeah. So you I can see, truth. and the vul yeah, the invulnerability. So those are those are two. You know what? You both made good points. Yeah, you've you made some powers. Made Thank some good you. power I points. I need all the soup I want. <laughs> never have to worry about it. What that's is yours? A, that's a side effect. What is yours? <sighs> because I was thinking, I I would love the the ability to fly, oh, but yeah. just flying in itself is not like a thing that you can use to help people necessarily no, no not really you'd have to have super strength to go with yeah. it yeah or invulnerability to go with you it you can just go places faster oh but like the thing i guess we'd have to say like in this scenario oh damn that is a that is the money maker of, a, of an attack uh, I'm not a, if i'm at low health when he does that i'm just dead you're dead you might still win maybe who knows i'm, I'm finding it hard to believe i haven't <laughs> lost yet yeah i'm <laughs> really we made fun of malo quite a bit earlier and now I did not make fun hope. of Malo. I just really hate Gino. He's useless. I mean, yeah, granted, Bowser and Mario are face down right now, but face down ass up. That's the way they fight this battle. Mm -hmm. Um, the the heat vision would be like the cold breath. I think would have a lot of utility to it. Are you talking like laser eyes? Is that what he does? Okay. He does like laser heat eyes. He's like Cyclops kind I, of. I don't know. I just thought like maybe like he had like if he looks at something, it warms up. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's looking pretty hot. He wow. has a microwave yeah. vision. Is that what he has? He accidentally lights a lot of things on fire. Yeah, he just like Ooh. has a headache and he's just like, oh god. And then the dog's like, he <laughs> <laughs> see one, he sees someone attractive, and he just like, woof, and woof, then woof. they just are engulfed in flames. They yeah. just there's like on the news suddenly a lot of um what do you call those self immolation <laughs> a lot of attractive women downtown yes. have been bursting into flames women. there's no one. superman's on the scene no yeah one it's uh i don't know anything about it yeah it's real weird <laughs> he's using this uh -oh. oh shit that might be it that's it that's it oh no all right well we got me good i've i've lasted pretty long yeah but we, yeah we've done a little good. over an hour a little over yeah that's fine uh, next time on JoJo, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the show. Completely <laughs> random shit. <laughs> random bullshit episode of yeah. random stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's Sunday when we're recording this, which is not a day we usually record. And uh, I'm not in love with that. Okay. Emotionally. Oh, we've 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 heard you know, Joe. It's, hurt it's, it's really not the best day that we could have recorded. Sure, if sure, I'm, if sure. If I'm being a million percent, uh, oh. if I'm being honest and true. Well, we'll try not to be sick and feel bad, Jojo. We'll try <laughs> I, that. I, I would. I, you know what? I'm gonna like. I'm gonna, I appreciate it. <laughs> we'll try try real hard. Yeah. I, I like that. Yeah. As, as uh, you know, I think I think I don't ask for fucking that much. Do I? I could really use that invulnerability right now. Are you sure? <laughs> I really use that freezy breath. Yeah, I'm a breath. Well, thank over you for you. joining us on uh, Mario RPG, where we are basically like almost halfway through this game. Yeah, it's really not that long. Yeah, we're just jamming through it. Um, but anyway, yeah. Farewell. Bye. Bye.